Hey guys, I'm at the Bronx Hall of Injustice. The Bronx Hall of Injustice is one of the largest businesses in the Bronx, and they don't produce anything. They don't create a product. They don't manufacture any goods. They just put people in prison. And they put people in prison for petty things like jaywalking and, and uh, marijuana possession and just victimless crimes. So I'm here to uh, protest that by handing out jury nullification flyers. It's the right of the uh, jury yeah. to acquit a defendant uh, if they believe the law to be immoral. So basically, you know all those, you know how uh, um, marijuana has been decriminalized in, in New York, mm -hmm. but they still arrest people for it. Yeah. So, you know, that's a perfect example of, you know, when jury nullification comes into play. When a defendant faces marijuana charges, they should just be acquitted. Can I interest you in a flyer? Have a good day. Can I interest you in a flyer about your rights? Good, how are you? Just handing it out to anyone who will take it. No victim of crime, no All right, because you might, I'm going to check up on something. Yeah, just hold on to this. You want to hold on to it? No, 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 it's okay. So all right. That's it, all right. But something like that might have to have you stand a distance away from the court. So I'm just going to give you a heads up. Just so you know, this is public sidewalk. No, I so. understand. I understand. I'm in a flyer about your rights. Sir, I just notified my office what's happening is with that. You're allowed to do it, but you got to stay 200 feet away from the uh, from the courthouse. So, if what you, law is that? That's I'll get someone to come out here, but we'll we'll show you the paperwork on that also. Hey guys, so I have my jury info sign out. Uh, I've been handing out flyers. I'd be 200 feet away from the courthouse. So Says who? Arrest. Says the law. And if you don't do it Which now, law? if you don't do it now, I'm going to put handcuffs on you. You're going to be placed under arrest. Which do law? Do you understand? Which law? It's, I don't have to tell you a point to a section. I'm telling you, it's in a, it's in a criminal procedure law. It's a penal law, actually. You have penal to be law? 200 feet away. Okay, and I'm going to give you. What one. would I have been Listen arrested? Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm about to place you under arrest. Is that what you want? For free speech? No. For, for violating the law. The law says you can do this, but you have to be 200 feet away. Is that for something For free you speech on okay. a public space? No, no. The law says you can do that 200 feet away from a courthouse. Okay, okay well, I'm you guys said you'd produce that, I'm, so I'm no, not leaving unless you it. produce okay, it. Okay, put your hands behind your back. I'm going to place you under arrest. You're not going to leave these on, are you? No. I'm going to take them off temporarily. Ow. What am I being charged with? Okay. 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 Okay.
man. I don't know why you wanted to go to Toronto. When a uniformed officer tells you to move from a place, that's what you're supposed to do. <clears throat> okay. Nobody's questioning you. Let me just get his ID. Let's start this process. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Is that a case? No, I don't think so. Do you have any medical issues? Let's see. Got an ID here. Yes? Do you want to answer? Hold on. I want to try him a jury intimidation test. Yeah, it's a jury. You try to tell him, right? You try to tell him. You got to get to him because they want to see everything in writing. So you'll see it in writing when you get away. Already? Already. How are you today? All right, start early, huh? Already? We don't play around here, Sarge.